despite all the horrible things that I've said about pie charts, I'm still going to teach you how to create one in Microsoft Excel. For this example, we are still using the Dog Toys data set that you can find on the first tab of the Describing Data Week 3 Excel spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet that you can find in class or in the link in the description for this video. Let's start by taking a look at the data that we're going to be using. As before, we are using the Favorite Toy column for creating our display of this categorical data. You'll notice I haven't created a specific tab for, bar, for uh, pie charts. Uh, I'm just going to use the bar chart that already exists. And to show you how to create a pie chart, I'm actually going to use a technique that you saw me use in the video about creating Pareto charts. And that is I'm going to start by grabbing all of this data from C1 down to D6. And I want to click on the Data tab in the ribbon and go to Sort. I'm going to sort by frequency and make that go from largest to smallest. Now click OK. And you see that the bar chart, which is based on this data, is now a Pareto chart, meaning I could create the bar chart and then create the Pareto option in a second step. If you already have a bar chart that you've created, you can actually change that into a pie chart very easily. And because I have arranged in descending order, that pie chart is going to be properly formatted because it will begin with the largest pie slice and then go in descending order. So here's how I would change an existing chart. I'm going to click on my bar chart, and then I have an option for chart design. Now over here I see Change Chart Type and the option for Pi. Under 2D Pi, I'll simply click, and now I've changed that to a pie chart. I could change the colors in that pie chart very easily. I could even change to a gray scale, like uh, or there's a blue scale, change that way. I'm pretty sure there's a gray scale in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a gray scale right there. Uh, that's actually backwards because the first pie should be the darkest and it should be in descending order to the lightest. Uh, but again, thus are the limitations of pie charts and uh, I'm hoping you're not going to be using a pie chart, uh, especially if you have the option of using a bar chart. Uh, that's how I could change an existing chart. Let me show you how I would do this from scratch. So I'm going to click off of these charts and I'm going to go grab my data yet again. There we go. This is what's going to end up in my pie chart. And again, it is in descending order, uh, which is a step you would need to replicate if you were creating your pie chart from scratch. I will go to the insert in the ribbon, and here are the options for pie charts. You'll notice they look exactly the same as when I was changing the type of chart. Click once, there's my new pie chart. Just as ugly as every other pie chart we've ever seen. So I don't recommend it, but that is how you create a pie chart in Microsoft Excel.